What's good, y'all? Got another uh, video going. Got uh, the up and comers rolling with us today. This is the up and comer video. Nah, I'm playing. Nah, we got our up and comer. The males with us. Back him up. He coming too close. Look at him. Can't even fit the collar. We had to put him back. Whoa. Little male. Little male kept this another one off the yellow. Different one. They always had that same little distinct look. Hey, you wanna get uh you wanna get Lala? Yeah, that collar too damn big. We try to bring him. Let y'all get a another little look at him. I'll put him back. A little bit for a pup, he's big as hell. Collar's a little bit too small. I mean, his neck a little bit too small for that collar. We uh I don't think I have you know, I don't have no small, I don't feel like burning the hole. Female, y'all. What that, man? What that, mama? What that? 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 Yeah, this the one we <laughs> went got her instead. Huh. These two we got. These was the little, little confident ones out the little. Well, I mean, they they all was confident, but there was ones that just stood out, you know. Yeah, every little they always got like they always got like a pup or two that stand out. Oh shit! And uh, she was one of the two. So look at that. My bad. Just that fast, they almost. Who who is that with that growling? Kim. Yeah. How they are. God, that's why I keep them, we keep them separated for the most part. Most, 90, 95% of the time. Wow. Shut up. She do that shit too. Oh shit, look at her about to knock. She, she can't keep still, man. About to, let's switch, switch dogs. He don't like being around. He don't like nobody coming by him. She, 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 real, she a alpha female, huh? She get around another female. She, um, she, she go off. But uh, yeah. So we with this video, man. Just bonding with our dogs. That's how I do. Come here. That's how we get bonding time. What the baby? What the? What the? You want your dogs to bond with you, man, and really, really know that you care for them, you love them. You know, that's how they really, that's how you really, un, that's really a secret, man. You know, and I should only, most time I only tell it to people who, um, who buy dogs from me, man. You know, the secret to having good dogs, man. It's been, look, see, he waiting on me. He waiting on me. No walk. Secret to having good dogs, man. It's spending time with them. You know, you get dogs with a good bloodline. Don't get it twisted. Good background. But the secret to unlock that, that, that APBT uh, characteristics is to bond with them. Show them that you love them. And then they, uh, they show you that they love you back. So, go ahead. I'm going to let you. You go forward, I'm gonna go forward. One of them. Yeah. yeah, but uh, but yeah, once you show them, 
that you love them, that's when they're willing to do do a lot for you, you know? I mean, I didn't have my dogs. I don't really train my dogs. But there ain't no really to it. I don't train them to uh, bite people. Come on. Follow them. I don't train them to bite people. And, uh, and uh, I didn't have times where somebody would grab on me. We were just doing it to see. Well, we actually did it on, on accident. Dude grabbed me, and my dog, Red Sassy, the one who passed, she she, uh, she started barking at him and coming toward him like she was going to attack him almost, you know? And she only did that when he, when he came at her, her owner. And so that's how a good dog should do, you know? You want a dog that, a pit bull that's not going to just straight up attack somebody but will protect their owner. You know, wouldn't you feel better if you out and somebody like harming you? All right, we about to swap dogs, huh? I'm gonna hold him back. We don't want him to try to hold, hold him tight. Shit, hold him back. Yeah, cause see, he kept wanting to come by me. He just like rubber band man. He love being by me. What's up, my boy? What's up? What's up? I love you. What's up, man? Yeah, so, so yeah, Red Sassy had protected me from somebody who was putting harm on me. She was willing to, just about to, you know, go in attack mode, you know, and, um, come on, come on, big man, come on, good job, good job, man, come on, good job, good job, man. And so, you know, that, that, that meant a lot to me, you know, my dog would do that. And um, and I don't train them to do that at all. But by me giving the dog so much love, she know, okay, when he's, um, she know when he's, when he's at home, I'm gonna protect him. So I don't advise nobody to train their pit bull to, to attack people because, you know, they say pit bulls lock, it's just not really a lock. It's just them wanting to hold on and not wanting to let go. Just, just, it's just based off of what they want to do, you know? And, um, but they have a lot of power. So I wouldn't want them to, you know, to, uh, just be people buyers and they, and they don't like to stop. So I don't train my dogs. Hey, where you going? Right over here. Yeah, I don't train my people, to, uh, my dogs to be uh, people biters. But it's good to know that, you know, they'll protect you when it comes down to that. I ain't gonna say all of them that you get from me, but some of them will. Yeah, I cut through, I cut through here. But yeah. Yep, so. This our little male out of little yellow man. And Miriam. He, um, he real hot, man. Real feisty. Real feisty. And this is how he is natural. No training, no teasing, no. You know, I didn't hear crazy stories. Nothing. No kind of chemical introduced, nothing. This is how he is, you know. He. We call them sporting dogs or gang dogs because they like to hunt as far as hog hunting and, and you know, uh, outdoor things, you know, when it comes to legal activity. So, for instance, this dog right now, he's looking, sniffing around, looking for something to pop out, squirrel, cat. That, that's a gang dog. Active, he fit. See, he's not, notice he's not, uh, Notice he's not butterball fat. You know, no, notice how alert he is. Look, looking all over, constantly looking, looking, sniffing, looking, looking, look. Yeah.
he watching, see? He watching. There you go. Gotta make a deposit. Yeah, so. so yep, yeah, that's, and now that's, uh, this little yellow man, <coughs> quarter and boss, quarter champion though. That female there is like, let's see, uh, she's what? She's down there 75% though. Oh, let me see, 62. She's pure, her. Huh? Tight. Tight, 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 tight. What the? What that, mama? What that, mama? What that, mama? Straight off in drama. Nothing. What? What time it is? Yeah, so I got my walking first time walking, buddy, in a long time. <laughs> Oh man, how it feels to walk with ready red kennels? I am ready. You what? I am ready. You am ready red kennels. How? <laughs> how? Huh? What? I said I am ready. Red Speak kennels. up when you're talking to a king. Oh, mommy. Who do you think you is? Mm -mm. I'm trying to come back, come back to something. Like CEO. More like you the secretary. You do something strange. For a little piece of change. Shit. What's up, man, man? Me, when I walk them periodically, I'll, you know, sometimes I don't get to spend time with them. You know, and that's about to change. But me, when I walk them, I periodically stop, rub on them, let them know, you know, let them know you love them and all that. And then he go back and run. See, I like, I hate when they, that's why it's best to start off young, man, you know. I get too busy. Some of these pups will age up before I get to take them for their first walk. And when they do that, they walking on the side of you. Some of them walking behind you and all that. But I love, you want your dog to be in front of you. This is the American Pit Bull Terrier. This ain't no Border Collie. This ain't no goddamn, uh, what that dog is you want? House dog? What house dog you be wanting? Yorkie, Maltese, whatever. This ain't none of that. These teacup poodle, none of that. These dogs supposed to be in front of you like a Siberian Husky. Pull them the sled. They supposed to pull you. These weight pull dogs. Come on. So, I like for mine to be in the front. This is a pit bull, man. Every dog ain't shouldn't be no goddamn uh, wiener dog, hot dog, whatever. Some of these dogs supposed to be mad, you know, represent power and strength. You know? Yeah, they could be soft and you know all that. But these dogs represent, you know, let's be real. They represent power. So, you know, I like for mine to be in the front. She was doing that shit when I got her. She was walking on the side of me, and I hate that. Damn, they make me want to put her back. But at the same time, you got to you gotta humble down. Come on. And just spend time with them. Hopefully, they get out of that. But you always want a good, good pulling dog straight ahead. I mean, they on the hunt. They on the prowl. They looking active like he doing. That's how the dog should be. You know, like when I walk Big Leo, <clears throat> he damn near about to, he, he gonna pull you, you know. I, look, one time I was walking, 
a guy stopped me, hold me up, man. Hold me up talking, giving me all this spiel. Guess he used to watch, uh, what's that dog whisperer, Aunt Caesar, Milano, whatever. And uh, he told me, <laughs> he told me, man, my dogs ain't supposed to be walking me. How they supposed to be on the side of me. And, uh, <laughs> and they shouldn't be walking me. I'm just listening like, go ahead, man, keep going, keep going. All right, deuce. You know, my younger self, I would have argued him down. But, you know, as you get older, I don't got time to be putting out energy for nothing. Let the dude think what he want and keep it moving. So, I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> so I, uh, I just do me, man. But, yeah, I like mine to walk in the front, not in the back. In the back. What's up, Big Bang? What's up? It's a promising little prospect right here, man. Promising little male. I mean, I don't know, man. He's he's real rough. Real rough, real active. We cut back a little bit, like he, he slumped down. He's a little trimmed down right now. But, but uh. Ever since a pup, man, he was the one that stood out. Like I said earlier, he was the one that stood out to me. And um, I kept him. Especially since Isaiah died. He was one of the three or four litters he, that had before he died. And um, I kept him. I'm going to show y'all a picture of him. He's the one I picked. And, you know, you got people that call. They, 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 when they get... There's, there's, uh, when you send a regular deposit for the regular price, you get the first picks, uh, you get the picks outside of the breeder's choice. So, huh, huh. So, uh, so like there's breeder's choice, you know, which is the actual, actual first pick. And then there's the first picks, first pick, second pick, third pick, fourth pick outside of that. That's how I do it. And so, if I do, if I am willing to sell the first pick, the, the actual breeder's choice out of the litter. Now, mind you, don't think because you didn't get the breeder's first choice, you're not getting a good dog. In actuality, you know, nobody knows who got the best one. I didn't personally sold some of my some of the best dog out of the litters. You know what I'm saying? And and pick the other ones, you know, and theirs turned out better than mine. So it's all luck of the draw, but I know I do have a good eye for for um, the dogs that I breed. So I, I'll pick what I like, and then I'll um, I'll go from there, you know. But if you want to get the breeder's choice, which usually usually is a male and a female, it's one male and one female. You know, unless it's a small litter, and there's only like. <clears throat> one male two or three females or something like that and somebody sent the deposit for a male before they drop then he'll automatically get that male but if i got you know regular litters three males five females stuff something like that i'm gonna have my picks out of both gender everything else be available and then if somebody want that it's always gonna be higher you know i'm giving you what looks like to me is the best out of the litter and you think it's gonna be the same price no it's not now some people sell the um they'll sell the females higher than the males. I had a guy call me up. I used to hear that when I was younger. People selling the females two, three hundred high. Yeah, that's cool. That's on them. That's, that's old school, whatever. I don't do that. They're all the same price. Only thing higher is the breeders' choices. Just the first pick male, first pick female. It don't matter what gender. People forget. Males make make puppies too. So you got a male. Matter of fact, the male is the one who put the traits out there. If you got a good dog that got good traits, that's throwing good traits, and he's producing good, people gonna come to you to breed to you, and you're gonna get some puppies. All you gotta do is put them out there. You know? You want a good male for good traits. So you get that first pick. Obviously, he got, you know, the things, the characteristics I was taught and I look for when I look for a puppy, that he must have that. So that's why it's the first choice. So, you know, to eat his own. You gotta catch up. 
So yeah. So yeah, he was my first choice out of his litter. So that don't mean the other guys who got some theirs ain't is any less, but he was the one that stood out to me. You know, I always liked it the ones that come out more little yellow man looking. You know, you could cross little yellow man and, and then get one that looked like him out of that cross. Oh yeah, you're gonna be straight. All you gotta do is take care of him from there. Good uh good health. You know, this male, I didn't even spend a whole lot of time with him, man, to be honest, bro. I spent time with rubber band man and sassy and dogs like them. But from there, uh, but they went on a period where I wasn't spending a lot of time. Now I'm kind of recharged up. Everybody about to start getting more, more uh, time. Y'all gonna see more little videos like this. Well, maybe. But everybody about to start getting more time off the chain, walking, hitting the park, whatever. Meals, whatever. You know. But ain't nothing like a good early morning walk. After we put these dogs up, I'll be in the gym. After the gym, be in another spot feeding some dogs. After that, be be uh, setting up another spot for another dog. Daughter got field day today, and graduation day is I think tomorrow. One of these days, I can't remember too much going on, but. Nevertheless, I'm gonna be spending more time with him, man. That's how you get better output out of these dogs, man. I noticed the difference. I got better dogs. I got better acting dogs and better litters, all that, when I put more time in with them, you know? So, you know, like everybody say, you, 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 get, you, get, um, you get what you put in, you know? You get out what you put in, so. That, that's what it is. That's the truth. Like anything, you know. You, plan, you fail to plan. And you plan to fail. What's up? So what's up, Big Bang? We ain't heard. We ain't seen no dog neighborhood dogs. Y'all see how he do. You see an animal. See that this the male. Um, this is brother. The one y'all seen the other day. The junior. It's another one of his brothers. I really, and to be honest, y'all, I really don't even like exposing my dogs on these videos, but it is what it is. Sometimes you got to take that leap. You know, at some point, I might not even put them all out there, but hey, I enjoy the videos while it lasts. Tell him, watch him to put him on alert so he know that it's something in sight. You want your dog to have a code just to know when to watch to, you know, keep you in protection. It's not to um, be evil or anything like that. It's, to, it's just like if you have a, if you have, a, um, if you're in the military, what do they tell you? You know, they have little codes, things they say. What? Who was that? She's she spooked. Back up, back up. You get her back. What get her back. About? What? Thing? What happened? Something moved? Something said do do do. Hey, I'm that person in the movie. I go back to what move. In the drain? In the drain? Oh hell no. Hell no. I seen that I seen I seen that movie. What was that movie? It? With no, was it it? With that little clown thing? In the drain? Let me get in front of you. You know she, you know how she is. Come on, back up. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah, I just tell them watch them to put them on alert. Meaning, you know, might be an enemy around, or intruder, anything. So you want your, you want to be able to talk to your dogs. That's a part of bonding. You know. They got a big German Shepherd right here too. They got a German Shepherd right here in this, in this yard here. Watch. 
Yeah, them raccoons running them um, sewers and. What? It made that noise? Yeah, them damn. <laughs> You don't know what's down there. Yo. You see, she's down, buddy. Ow, la, la. You want to get who? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She, you know, my uh, mentor came by the other day, man. And set me straight. Gotta take care of a few things on the yard. Down in Louisiana, man. Mud, uh, you have a lot of mud, so I had a place to order, give me some river sand. Had a few spots of standing. Uh, I've been supposed to do that, but you know, it's always something. But yeah, I got a few spots with standing where the water stands, you know, for a while, for a little while before it dries up, man. All that moisture and shit ain't good. You know how it is. So, gotta do that. And basically, just spend more time with him, man. That's it. Huh? That's uh, a journey. I make these videos, man, not just for y'all, for anybody who around the world, you know. Shout out to uh, the guy with the staffy from, uh, <laughs> now I don't wanna butcher your country name. I'm knowledgeable, but I <laughs> my pronunciation ain't always on point now. But I think he's from, I think it's pronounced Thailand. Is it Thailand or Thailand? It's Thailand, huh? The country. Yeah. Yeah, Thailand. Yeah, shout out to the dude with the staff. If he, if he uh, hop on this video. Uh, this time I'm going to know if you made it to, if you watching my videos, bro. If you make it, if you, <laughs> if you recognize your shout out at the 25 minute mark. <laughs> But yeah, shout out to you uh, over in Thailand, you know, anybody around the world. I make these videos for y'all, you know, anybody, a little inspirational, that's why I say a little stuff. But I make it for my kids too, you know. These videos are outlive me, hopefully. They can come back and see how their daddy talked, act, whatever, you know. Maybe, maybe, my, maybe it's not even for my kids. Direct kids, maybe it's for, for my grandkids, who knows? It's always good to think ahead. And uh, you know, I've been supposed to make videos for years. Started off with that little yellow man video and his son playing around with it. You know, I know I, um, the quality wasn't always there. I just be learning a little stuff on my own. Once, but don't let me hook up with a, huh? I thought you took your shoes off. Yeah, I was about to say, don't let me hook up with somebody who know how to edit videos and all that and do that for me. Video's gonna be on fleek when I do that. But for now, y'all gotta, <laughs> gotta listen to my little video. Yeah, he looking at y'all, man. He say, what y'all looking at? What you say? What you say? What you say, man? What you say, man? What you say? What you say? What you say? Yep, anybody that got a dog off look yellow man a lot of times. Eyes are your dog look, look similar to this unless he a red, red nose. If he a buckskin, black nose, probably look similar to this. To this. You know. So. This dog here ain't even a year yet. Come on. But yep, shout out to y'all, man. So y'all keep keep watching the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if you can, share it, you know. Also, you know, comment on us. Let us know what you think. Let us know. Uh, you can say bad stuff too. Say bad stuff. <laughs> speak what you speak. Dig. But anyways, y'all subscribe, man. Y'all stay blessed.